So this is this is a deprogramming hour, and we're here with Hoop, East Village artist, and he's going to tell us about his work. And I came out of East Village. Uh, a lot of my friends were the graffiti artists, uh, Keith Herring, Chico. They were painting walls, subways. I said, "Well, that's kind of illegal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate my car and drive it around the city." So over the years, I've made uh, 30 or 40 what I call hoop mobiles. All you have to do is Google hoop mobiles, and you'll see my site with everything on it and all my Warholian friends. And uh, I've done 40 museum shows uh, for 20 years. I did parties with my friend Beard Jones at every club in the city. And uh, that was a lot of fun until he went to the party in the sky. And uh, now I show up for parties and occasionally do them. Uh, every year we do an Andy Warhol birthday party, and usually at the Gershwin Hotel. And so we have something coming up uh, with some of the people that came to the party tonight. We'll be performing there too. You were telling us about your hoop mobiles, and I was about to ask um, what they look like because I think I've seen some of these around the village, uh, east and west. It started out where I started putting. The fake fur material on the car and painting it psychedelic wow. and then I started adding things and then I got into themes. Uh, the time machine was a van covered with clocks. The can vertible is covered with cans. The car of the future, the communications car has all computer parts all over it. I just did the music mobile which has sort of like a history of uh, music with uh, CDs, 78s, 45s, tape recorders, uh, and on a hood I have a lot of kitty instruments which people can interact with. They can come along and play the keyboards or whatever. I like a little bit of that interactive artwork. Oh wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. I want to see that one. I want to I want to be up and close with that and play with some of the the toys. Um, you said that you were in the Andy Warhol scene. Is that when you started uh, doing art? Well, my friend here, Penelope, uh, was the youngest person that was filmed by Andy Warhol for his screen test series. She was six months old. Her mom was one of the Warhol superstars that was in several of the movies. And I'm friends with everybody, you know. They're still around, uh, Ultraviolet, and Taylor Mead is in his 80s doing poetry every week. And, uh, you know, the ones that are surviving are still doing their thing. Oh, wow. And Penelope, what was that like for you, like having fame such a such an early age? Um, well, the main thing about uh, working as an actress is that you have to... Um, consider it seriously um, and then all the charms comes out of you. I did a picture when I was 12. I was going down on 13 years old and it's in French and it's with the famous Klaus Kinski and that was my second picture. I started working at 10 in acting and when I was a kid, I was uh, modeling for Sarah Moon Cacharel, a uh, very famous photographer, a uh, very uh, known, uh, known style. And I was a favorite model, but when I came to the age of 10, I went back to acting, and um, now I am uh, working in films such as TV in New York City, and I go up to modeling and acting um, and I take it seriously and I want all that charm and that beautiful uh, nature of mine to come through and uh, whisper to the camera and Hoop is a very uh, interesting artist because he's one of a kind I mean he has also friends that are also people that have deal with um, the heart of cars and that's very authentic and that that's the main thing about it if you're willing to uh, make art then you can uh, what's your both of you what's your inspiration for when when you do your work I'll start with you um, I kind of like to do uh, things that people like uh, like I said, one of the reasons I did the cars to bring artwork out on the street, a lot of people don't go to museums and galleries. 
You know, I do those shows, a uh, different type of artwork. Uh, for a long time, I collected celebrity fingerprints, and uh, I'd meet Allen Ginsberg or Elvira or Joan Jett or somebody, get their fingerprint, and then I... You can set them up for some pretty bad crimes like that. You know, some people didn't want to do it, but that was few and far between. Most people thought it was a great idea, you know. Then I'd blow them up and screen them in all different colors, and... Um, you know, so it's uh, things people can relate to, you know, uh, with the cars. Uh, pe people are, uh, don't expect to see, you know, some art car on the street. Right. Recently, uh, I hosted an event at the Museum of Modern Art where a friend of mine uh, just made a film called Automorphosis. Uh, I showed it around the country in film festivals, and then we showed it in several museums. And now the State Department actually picked it to send overseas as a goodwill gesture to several different com countries. So my friend will be, uh, Harrod Blank his name is, he's a documentary maker. He'll be going uh, here and there and uh, displaying the film on car art. Because uh, I'm always surprised in New York there weren't more uh, art cars, but... Uh, there's some, there's some graffiti artists that'll do a car here and there for yeah. like a, but, but nothing like what you do. Yeah, generally, uh, art cars are you know beyond just art on your uh, car or or a painting. It's uh, you know adding things and uh, you know uh, just going wild. Just do whatever you can possibly think of, you know. And how about for you, Penelope? What's your inspiration? Well, I see uh, that uh, art uh, in the main of Andy Warhol and the artist in New York is somehow uh, very... Um, there's a lot of wisdom and a lot of um, good ideas about that. And I wish I could, you know, make some art that is, um, you know, building up and making a, a step in the world, you know. I think that there are a lot of uh, actors that have um, started very young, and I am one of them that have started as a baby, and that is um, some phenomenal uh, situation, and I think that it might need to be discovered, and make it a step that the world get to know about that. Thank you both for letting us interview you on the programming hour. Very good. It was a lot it of fun. It was a pleasure meeting you. Nice seeing you. <laughs> nice meeting you. All right.